the most agile, the most powerful and the fastest. These were the guidelines with which the new Isurus I-30 by Tesoro Yachts was built and today I'm here in Spain, more specifically in Alicante, to test it out. Welcome to the Boat Show. The concept is that of a supercar. It is super performing, but with a lot of comfort on board. So before switching on the engines, let's check out the deck layout. At the bow, a horseshoe shaped sofa that seats up to eight people and becomes a large sun deck, thanks to the electrical dropping table. On such an extreme boat, this is a fundamental detail. I'm talking about the handrail, which runs along the gunwale. In addition to the steps, the engines and to the aggressive lines, how else can you tell that a boat has been built to push the limits? Well, from the solidity of the structures and of the superstructures. As you can see, the deck design of this first sample of the Azurus I-30 is minimal, almost extreme in order to reach the highest possible performance and, in fact, below deck it is empty. However, the shipyard is ready to fulfill every ship owner's request, such as, for example, setting it up with a cabin and a bathroom below deck, or also a complete setup of the boat for fishing. But now, enough with the chit chat. I really want to show you how this new Azurus I-30 navigates. Agile, powerful and fast, it seems like an easy thing to do, but actually being able to build a boat of this size that is so agile, so powerful and so fast, is not everyone's cup of tea. Tesoro Yachts decided to divide the production into two different branches, which are Tesoro Yachts and Isurus by Tesoro. Isurus is a shipyard in which engineers and workers specifically work on this project. It could be considered as the super sport division of the Spanish shipyard. This is the first model and the hull is built in fiberglass, while the hard top and the whole superstructure is totally made of carbon fiber. There is, of course, also the possibility of having the hull in carbon. What amazed me is the weight management of this boat. Every wiring harness, every accessory has been weighted and measured by the engineers before being put on board. Today the sea is not on our side. It's starting to get very windy here in Alicante, but for those who are familiar with this place, they know it's normal. Coming here and knowing I had to test this boat, I was hoping that the sea was a bit rough because this hull is specially designed to navigate under all weather conditions. It will be difficult to really reach the maximum speed, but as always, we will try. What we're about to test is the first sample of the Isurus I-30. What can I say? It's a prototype, and it's been built thinking about every single detail. It aims to be the fastest boat of the world in its category, a centre console of less than 10 metres. Do you know what Isurus means? Isurus is the scientific name of the Mako shark, which is the fastest shark in the world. In a few moments, we will see if this name suits this new boat by Tesoro Yachts. The shape of the hull is perfect to achieve this speed goal. The dead rise is 23 degrees, so the keel is very deep. And then if you look at it from above, it has the shape of a bullet. From bow to stern, the flare is really pronounced as it enters the water with a very fine angle, and having a lot of volume from the front sides of the boat, which supports this boat when it slams down into the wave, opens the water and deflects the splashes on the outside of the boat. A very interesting thing is the height of the bulwarks compared to the floor of the walk-around. This gives a lot of security to anyone on board. By the way, at 70 knots, I recommend you sit here, right next to the pilot.
però adesso è arrivato davvero il momento di testare questa But now it's time to test this boat which is my favorite moment. So So, following C. Vento è a favore e cominciamo a far uscire. The wind is in our favor and let's start to bring out this new Isurus I30 in plowing mode. Today on the transom, we have two Mercury Verado 400 horsepower racing. What do you say? Will 800 horsepower be enough? As soon as I give it a little gas, the boat immediately comes out of the water and pulls down the tip. We don't need the flaps anymore. In fact, with following C, I need to raise the bow. The sea is getting rougher, the waves are higher, but the navigability of this boat is still impressive. Every time it hits down onto the wave, the large volume of the bow makes it rise and it doesn't heal. Now it's time to make sure the kill cord is connected, one hand on the throttle and the other on the wheel. 3,500 RPM for each engine. We're consuming 36 litres per hour for each engine, and our speed is 30 knots, but it really seems as if I'm standing still. I'm trying to move behind a small cape to be able to go full throttle and see what this boat can do. The hull is quite particular with a large central step. Here the waves disappear and we're protected, so it's time to enjoy the sound of the engines. Full gas. Listen to those engines roar. 5,100 RPM, we're already doing 40 knots. The shipyard declares that with this motorization we could reach up to 70 knots. So today I have two main goals. The first one is to reach them and the second is to pass them. Six thousand RPM. Sixty knots. We can now go and work the power lift a little. Okay. Okay, 6,300 RPM. 64 knots. Just a little more. Six thousand five hundred RPM, and we're at seventy one knots. Incredible. Isurus, together with Tesoro Yachts, wanted to develop the fastest center console in the world within ten meters. Personally, I don't know if they've succeeded, but this little gem is really great. <laughs> 